Welcome to another session of Qigong Meditation. We're going to continue with our practice for breathing, alignment, centering, revitalizing. Yeah, we're going to combine some body movements with breathing and postures to uh, help you to achieve all that. So I'm preparing for my fight, which is happening in the end of August. So part of my training routine is to do Qigong, which is an ancient Chinese practice which helps you to uh, strengthen your balance, strengthen your, um, you know, your punching power, uh, strengthens your defensive blocking, uh, bone density, resilience, stamina, and so on. Uh, one of the most important things is to learn how to relax. So if you've ever been in, uh, in uh, uh, competitive sports, being able to stay relaxed is very impo important because once you tense up, then you spend more energy than you have to, right? So especially if you're in a fight, um, very common to tense up and uh, you're literally in the fight and flight response because you are in the fight. So, so naturally, uh, people tend to want to fight or they, or, they, or they run away. And that you don't want to do that when you're in a, in a competition, right? So you need to learn how to control that fight and flight mechanism, how to calm your breathing, calm your heart rate, and also to um, be able to focus because you have punches coming at you, you have to strategize. At the same time, you are executing everything that you practice, right? Techniques, timing, footwork, so there's a lot involved. Uh, so being able to relax uh, not only helps you in a competitive situation, but helps you in life in general, right? Because if you relax, when the stress comes in, when something unexpected happens to you, circumstances, whatever, um, that gives you stress. So it's like there's an attack coming at you. How do you deal with that? Well, if you learn how to deal with that physically, like in, 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 uh, in martial arts, you can translate that to, be, uh, to teach you what you need to do internally not just externally, obviously you can block, you can, you can, you can dodge, right? You can, you get a counter attack, that's physical, but what do you do internally, right? In, or in order to um, dissipate energy, redirect energy, or send energy. So that, that's the thing, it's all about energy, right? We are all energy, we are all frequency. So when you learn to do this internally, and that's what Qigong is, Qigong is learning to basically manipulate or, or, or control energy that's happening inside. By the way, if you just got here, make sure you tap the screen, give me some likes on this live stream right now. Uh, so I know that you guys are interacting, so tap the screen, give me some likes. Anyway, so let's get started. So rub your hands together. Like you're putting uh, some lotion on your hand and you're just or sanitizer in your hand and you want to spread it out all over your hands okay do this now start brushing your face this is good if you have a lot of tension in your face especially if you're stressed you know they say it takes um, it takes like uh, 50 muscles to frown but it only takes five muscles to smile so when you do too much frowning and you're under too much stress, it tenses up your face too much. So it's good to relax up your face like this. Brush behind your ears, brush your scalp, your fingers down your throat, on your shoulders, behind your shoulders. On the chest. On the arms. And while you do this, it's good to take deep breaths. So take a deep breath. As you breathe out, just imagine you're brushing out any kind of negative stuck energies. And so relax that arm and brush it out. Imagine it's coming out of your fingertips as you're doing that. Relax the shoulder, shake it around a bit so it's relaxed. 
and brush down out of your fingers. Back to the chest. Down your solar plexus, use your thumbs. Every breath you're releasing and relaxing. It helps you to loosen up and unblock any blockages there. I only see one like. I need to see more likes. Tap the screen. Okay, brush aside. Thank you. Brush your uh, belly. Brush the side. Brush the back. Brush your your butt. Touch your thighs. Inside thighs, outside thighs. Brush your knees. Down your calves. Down your shins and your calves. Down your shins and your calves. Brush down the foot. Out the toes. Out the toes and your foot. Okay, and then now do some bouncing. And shake. So you want to shake everything loose and let it just shake and bounce so that the energy gets shaken down to your feet. You breathe out with every shake. Make sure everything's loose. You can see my chest is loose, shoulders loose, arms are loose, back is loose, back muscles are loose too. And the hip, hip, hip flexors are loose, thighs are loose, calves are loose, feet are loose, okay? Now I'll do the exact same sequence with uh, slight padding. So slight padding in a direction. So with your fingers, just pat lightly going down those channels. side of the arm so imagine you have four sides to your arm go down every side the top bottom left and right the next section we're going to gather energy let it wash over your body breathe in and relax and let it wash through
doing this outdoor is amazing. Yes, recommended to do this outdoors. Now bring it to your third eye here. What habits, things make chi negative or impure? Um, so chi is life force, so there's no such thing as negative life force. But you can have like negative energy uh, stuck in you, but that's not chi. So, if you have negative energy, it can be created many different ways, right? It can come from negative emotions, negative thoughts, stresses, foods that aren't good for you. Negative frequencies can also give you negative energy. Now gather to your belly. Okay, now reach down past your feet, past your knees, and then imagine you're pulling up water to your kidneys and then relax. So reach down past your knees. Imagine you're pulling water up to your kidneys, your kidneys and back. So you're pulling water up, you're pulling fresh spring water, deep well spring water. Refreshing water. Pull it up. Imagine it's filling up your kidneys and then relax. How old were you when you started learning Qigong, Tai Chi? Um, probably... How old was I? Maybe 20? 20 years old? So I'm 43 now. If you feel tingly up your spine or the back of your neck, then you're doing this properly because you're bringing energy up the kidneys and sometimes it goes all the way up to your head. Okay, now cover your belly, both hands like this. And just focus your breathing on your belly. As you're breathing, you want to focus on the belly rising and falling. Now you need to teach me how to use chi to stay young, looking young. Well, if you have chi, you don't need to you don't you don't eat, need to use it because once you have it, it's automatic. So once you activate it, the chi works by itself. That's how it works. <clears throat> I don't look forty three. Yeah, everybody says that. Okay, so the next part is um, learning how to relax. So. We did all these exercises, but now we want you to do it internally. So remember we did this one. We are 
sequentially relaxing every part of the body from head to toe. So I want to do it, you to do it just by breathing. So you can put your hands down like this. Stand pretty, uh, uh, you know, uh, feet shoulder apart. And, um, but I want you to feel like your head is being suspended like this. Like let's say you you have a bag around the head and then somebody's pulling that bag upwards. So it's pulling up your head like this. And everything's just kind of hanging and dangling from that from your head. Everything just just hangs from there. Now once it's hanging, I want you to re relax your, all your muscles while keeping that suspension, like keeping that string that's pulling your head up. So as you breathe out, I want you to imagine the you know um, you can imagine these uh, white energy, white light that is kind of like scanning through your body and washing through your body. So we're going to go start from the head and then down to your ears and then down to your chin, back down your neck, shoulders, chest, solar plexus, abdomen, hips, and then thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and then the bottom of your feet. If you can feel the bottom of your feet, and then actually go beyond, if you go further, past your feet. Okay, now do that with just your mind. As you breathe in, I'm gonna slowly go through that sequence, all right? So breathe in. And then as you breathe out slowly, just imagine that going through that. And then you can just go, Ha ah, like you're really, really relaxed. Ha ah. So by the end of your breath, you should have already reached the feet. You can do it again, take a deep breath. And then hold it for a second and then start from the top of the head and then scan all the way down. So breathe in. Hold it and then breathe out. Uh... One more time. Now you do a quiet breath. You don't go. Have, you don't have to go. Ha! Ah, you can just do quietly. So you feel any tensions or where where it's stuck. Wiggle that section, breathe in again, then start from there and continue. If you're stuck in the hips, breathe in, move the hips, wiggle around and continue. If you're stuck in the knees, breathe in, move your knees, then continue from the knees downward. So you can take pit stops in between Okay, let's try again. Start from the head. Relax your shoulders, chest, solar plexus, abdomen, and all the way down. And if you find a place where it kind of feels stuck, like or you can feel like it's tensing up, then stop there, take a deep breath. Start from that section, relax that, move that, and then continue downwards. So if you're having uh, difficulty sensing each body part, then go back to using the hands because the hands will help you guide the energy. So you can go back to using the hands, uh, help you guide and so you have a reference point to where you want that energy to wash through.
If you run out of breath, just stop there and take a breath again. And then slowly continue from that point. Okay, so at this point, if you lift your feet, stop the ground, you should feel quite heavy. And that's why it should feel. If your arms, your body just feels heavier because your muscles are now more relaxed against your skeleton. Okay, so next we're gonna do some stretches. So go like this as if you're scooping up energy, then make a triangle like this, and then raise it up above your head. It looks like a triangle. And then Relax, again, scoop up energy, flip over, look through the triangle, straight up, imagine, and then with this, imagine you're pressing up into the sky, straight up, and look upwards. Okay, you can do more times. I'm just gonna do three times today. Next one is one is scooping up. Same thing with this hand, but then use a palm and press upwards. And then this one, press downwards. Try to keep your arms as straight as possible. Press, take a deep breath in and press more. And press more. All right, and the other side, scoop up, flip it, press forward, uh, upwards. This one presses downwards, straight as possible. Press, take a deep breath, press up and downwards at the same time. One more time, the other side. And then the other side. Okay. Now I want you to gather energy like this, scoop it up. Then pull back with like drawing a bow and then press out with the other arm. So you're looking sideways, it's gonna look like this. You look down your index finger and then as you breathe in, as you breathe out, imagine you're pulling that bow and pushing out just like a bow. It's called draw the bow. So on this side, you pull the finger back as far as possible and on this side, you pull the bow back as fast as possible. See, and ideally you want your elbow to be perpendicular to the ground. So try not to, uh, ideally you want to have this completely perpendicular, just like that. Okay, so relax for a second, gather in. And then as you breathe out, you pull the bow. Breathe in and then Push and pull more. Breathe in. Push and pull more. Again. Again. Okay. So you should feel this stretching out this tendon here when you pull your finger back. Now do the other side. So this is pushing out this way. This is pulling back this way. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, next one. We're gonna flip our hands over, open like this. 
And then I want you to bring your thumbs backwards and then point your thumbs backwards. Okay, so I'm pointing my thumbs backwards, you see? Back and upwards. Go as far as back as possible and upwards. And open up your hands, but point your thumbs upwards like this. Okay, you got that? So take it. So breathe in. As you breathe in, you know, I want you to curl up like this. And then as you breathe out, I want you to do this and expand out with those thumbs pointing upwards and backwards. Curl in, breathe in, and then turn. So you're twisting your arms inwards and twisting your arms upwards. So inwards, you curl in, and then breathe out, then it expands. Now I want you to look one direction, turn your head as far as possible. So you can look at your thumb. Curl in, and then go the other side. Look the other direction, look at your other thumb. One more time, curl in. Breathe out, look at your thumb. Last time. your thumb okay and then you should feel probably this is tiring and also um, just your the back here it's a nice squeeze uh, next one simple just um, bend over like this and see if you can touch your toes by keeping your but keep your knees locked so your your legs shouldn't bend bend so like this you can't really see but Straight down and touch your toes. I'll just angle the camera so you can see more clearly. So, like this, touch your toes. Now breathe in, and then as you breathe out, relax more and see if you can stretch a little bit more. Breathe out. Breathe out and stretch more. Okay, come back up. Now, I want you to do it again. And as you go down, you can like squeeze your legs down like this. Grab your ankles. And then, see if you can look past your knees. So your eyes open, see if you can look past your knees behind you. Breathe in, breathe out, and stretch more. Now sideways, it'll be like this. Next one, I want you to squat like this and then put your hands on the knees like this and then push your shoulder forward. Now the lower you can go, the better. So you can go all the way down like this, better. And then push the other shoulder forward. nice stretch if you have tense back so you're twisting your back all right and 
the next one is angry punches. So you'll get to like a karate stance and then um, look forward with an angry face and punch like this. And then go, ha! punches now final one is we're gonna do the shake and bounce again so we're shaking and bouncing okay all right so that's that's actually called the uh, eight brocades it's a sequence, uh, Qigong sequence, some of you might have heard about it. It's called the eight brocades. So there's eight exercises or eight stretches. Okay, next we're gonna get into more application. So first we get into this, uh, uh, let's see what we do. So uh, we wanna learn how to relax faster, okay? So what you wanna do is stand like this. Uh, and then the moment I say, relax or when I snap my fingers I wanted to get into that um, uh, relax but structured position so all it is is you're standing up you're not thinking about anything and then I want you to get into this position just sink a little bit and feel everything just hanging from your skeleton and feel all the muscles and tissues and meat around your bones melt okay so let's start feeling that sensation first okay so what we do is we're going to take a deep breath and then ha ah, and then just relax imagine you just had a really long day and then just ha ah, and just relax like this and it comes to a point where you feel like you can just sit there and uh, your legs don't get tired so your legs are just bending a little bit Okay, now imagine that washing that we did go through your body. And then now imagine that your muscles are very heavy and it's hanging and draping over your bones. Okay, so can you remember that sensation? What does it feel? So it feels very heavy. It feels, um, it feels like sit there a long time. And it feels um, relaxed and melted. I have such painful sinuses right now. What can I do to fix this? Um, I don't know. You can use some of our frequencies. That might help with that. Okay, so relax. Take a deep breath. <sighs> relax and then feel the melting. So remember that sensation throughout your body. And then use the trigger word melt. Okay, so use the trigger melt, trigger word melt to remember that sensation in your body. Melt. Okay, now stand back up straight and then just bounce and loosen up a little bit. You know, just reset yourself. And then when I say the trigger word, I want you to get into that position with the same sensation. Okay, so ready? Melt. Okay, and it might take you a few seconds, even longer, to get back that same, same sensation you had. Okay, now I got it. So it took a little bit, took a few seconds, right? So remember that sensation again, melt. Okay, now reset again. Now loosen up again, reset yourself. 
Okay, and then get ready. I say trigger melt, uh, trigger word melt. Okay, now I got it. It's a little bit faster. So you have to really, you don't see anything on the outside, it's what you feel on the inside. So for someone that hasn't tried this, they're just watching, they say, oh, you're not doing anything, you just, you just dropped a bit. But it's really internal, it's a sensation, so you have to feel it. Okay, so now that you're in that position, feel the melting. Now see, so you can in, increase the melting. Take deep breath, relax more, imagine everything is melting, 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 melting. Melting even your feet are melting and then going into the ground, even deeper into the ground. Melting, melting, melting. Use your hands to help the melting, every part of your body. And then remember that sensation of the melting. So it feels very heavy, right? Oh. And it feels very relaxing. I'm like, feel like a slime. I feel like a slime, but there's a pole in the middle that's holding the slime up. That's why you want to feel it. It's like you have this pole, this metal rack inside, and all the slime is just melting off of the pole. Okay, so remember that sensation, and we reset again. Reset. Okay, and then get ready. Melt. Yeah, you can not melt it. So it took about three seconds, right? So let's do it again. Reset. Reset. And then stand. And then ready. Melt. Okay, this time I got there a little faster. So keep doing that a little bit more. Reset. Melt. Now it's faster, right? Let's keep doing that repeatedly until we can get it down to one second or less. Melt. Again. Melt. Melt. Reset. Melt. Okay, and stay there for a second. Check everything, check the melting. So check the alignment. You still have that pole that goes through you that's still straight. All your muscles are relaxed and like slime and it's melting off. Your knees are bent and you feel like you can sit there. And everything's relaxed. Ah, everything's going into the ground and melting. And you feel heavy. Okay? You feel super heavy. I feel like you can just stand there, you can fall asleep even. Okay, and let's do one more. A few more. Reset. Take a deep breath. Out. Like that. And then melt. And each time it gets a little faster, a little bit easier, right? Reset. So the, the faster you melt, the better, because we're training to do this on demand. Melt. Reset. Melt. Okay, so you can do this at home. You don't even have to... Uh, do much, you know, you don't need much space and you can do this whenever you want. You melt too fast, yeah, that's good. Uh, so so that's one way. The next way, so that's melting, is to do it in a, when you're fighting, right? So let's say you're punching, one, two, 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 boom, boom, you're punching, and then melt. And by the same, but the only difference is now you're in the stance uh, and you have melted. So all the things that you tried earlier, instead of standing like this, you're just standing like this and melted. It might be a little harder because your arms are up to melt. So melt. <sighs> now I melted. Okay. So fight, 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 fight. Boom, boom, boom. Fight, 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 fight. Fight. Melt. 
It took me about two seconds. So fight, fight, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Melt. And melting, what it does is it puts you into a uh, iron body. It's the beginning of iron body, okay? Because once you melt, that relaxation actually makes you very resilient and bouncy. So when somebody hits you, it feels like the impact bounces back to them. Okay, so let's say you're fighting, you're you're on the offensive, then he starts to punch you back, you go melt. Go back to punching. Melt, melt, I mean, punch, punch, fight, fight, fight. Melt. Okay. And then the next part is uh, so that's a good thing to, to practice. Next one, we're going to add a little bit more. So instead of melting, what I want to do is to um, let's see what I'm going to do. So you melt. What am I gonna do? Let's see. Uh, what can we do? So we did the melt. Uh, oh, we do this, okay? So. Now that we melted, what I, another thing I want you to imagine is um, chains. Imagine there's these thick chains, like iron chains that are draped all over your body. So you got a big chain on your shoulder, draped over your shoulder. You got big chains draped on your arms. Big chains draped all around your hips, like chains that are hanging down. Thick chains, like, uh, like a big thick chain from like a boat. I don't know, they still have those like thick anchor chains, like big thick links of steel or of iron. It's hanging from your legs and your knees, okay? So um, since we're in a fighting stance, you can you got, you use this like that. So do the melt. Okay, now you're melted. Now add chains, like thick long chains to it. And then imagine you're lifting the chains up with your arms. It's pretty heavy. And these chains are kind of weighing you down. So if you move, you can feel the chains swaying and it's really heavy, right? Really heavy chains. And it's also on your head as well. So you need to keep it nice and straight so that your, your body doesn't tip over because it's heavy. It's going to make you tip over. So you have all these chains that's heavy and you need to stay straight as possible in order to keep those chains from uh, tipping you over. And they're very heavy, so if you lift your arms, you gotta go like this. Because they're so heavy, right? So it's just imagination. So just imagine lifting chains, swinging the chains slightly around your body. And then keep them melting. So melt. And then the next one is chains. So I wanna use the keyword chains. And when they have the chains, imagine the chains appearing on your body immediately. Okay, ready? Chains. Okay, so reset. We're gonna do two sequences, okay? So we're gonna go reset, and then I'm gonna say melt, and then after you melt, I'm gonna say change. So there's two stages of this, okay? So you can practice punching, whatever. One, two, three, 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 three. uppercut, cross, right? Uppercut, hook, cross, two, right? And then melt. You got melt, once you got melt, Okay, now add chains. Feel the chains. Feel the imaginary chains. Okay, can you feel it? Weighing your body down. Okay, now reset.
melt that chains. Now see if you can move the chains around a little bit more. Extend your arms out, heavy chains. Slowly, heavy chains, expand. Move around a little bit. Feel the weight of the chains. Because if you have chains on your body, you can't move that fast because the chains are so heavy, right? And when they move, they actually have momentum, so you can't move too quickly. But you are moving the chain, so just kind of move different positions, with the arms, with the body, with the chains on your body. Okay, let's do it one more time, so reset. Reset. So you just fight, 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 fight. Punch, 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 melt. And then that chains. Move the chains around. Move the chains around a little bit more. You're melted and have chains on you, remember. Okay, now I want you to reset again, but when you melt, I want you to keep punching. Yeah, your punching can go slower. I want you to keep punching and keep fighting while you add melting and chains. So we're not gonna just stop there. We're gonna keep fighting with the melting and chains. Okay, so ready? So with nothing, I'm just gonna do punches. So if you just wanna do something, just punch. Any punch that you want, just one, two, one, two. You can just punch, 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 punch like that, okay? Okay, you can just punch, 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 punch. Okay? You're not thinking about anything, you're just punching. Okay, now when I say the keyword, you're gonna melt while doing it. Okay, so ready? Melt. Okay, so now I'm still punching, but I've melted and punch and punching at the same time. You can see a slight difference, but you should definitely feel a difference. Okay, you melt it and punching. Now I have a sec third one, which is I want to do chains. Now I have chains and you're punching and melted. Now naturally it's gonna be slower because you got these heavy chains that you're trying to move and punch, right? It's all in your imagination, okay? It's all in your imagination. And you're just using the sensations to guide your body. Melted, chains. Use your breathing to guide the movements. Okay, isn't this fun? Okay, we reset. Reset. Just punch, no thoughts. Just punching, no thoughts. Okay, now melt and punch. Melt. Melted. Now add chains. Now, you're probably thinking, well, if I add chains, my punches become too slow. Yes, that's the beginning. You gotta add chains and your punches are slow. But now, use your mind to imagine you're super him Superman and you have superhuman strength. So even though the chains are heavy, you can move them 
just as quick as Superman or or a superhero. Okay, so you ready? Let's do it again. Start from the top. Loose. Punching. Punch, 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 punch. Now, melt. The breath helps you melt too. Remember the breath? Melted, 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 melted. Add chains. Add chains. Really heavy, heavy, thick chains. But now, the next one, I think the keyword will be power. Okay, so the keyword power. Now all of a sudden you become a superhero and these huge chains are moving with superhuman speed and force. You still have the melting, you still have the chains on your arms, but for some reason you have this amazing superhuman ability to move the chains at really fast speeds. Okay. 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 Now I know it's all make believe, but I want you to have someone with you test each of the stages. Okay. So first stage, nothing, right? And I want someone to. Uh, I want you to. Let's say. Slap someone on the shoulder, like that. See how much uh, impact there is. Then do the melt, melt it. And then slap someone on the shoulder, see if it's, what is it, is it more or less? Then add the chains, and then I'll just do the slap again. And then add power, and see if there's stages of additional power that you added without extra force without extra physical force it's all done inside it's all done mentally okay so I teach you today you learn a secret thousands year old technique how to increase your punching effectiveness without actually adding more energy into it it's the same energy doing this melted and doing this actually less energy because you're more relaxed add the chains the same amount of energy, it's just your imagination. Then add the power with the chains and the melting. Okay, so, and then test it up. Let me know how that goes. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have any questions? What martial arts I practice? But right now I'm just doing boxing, but I have a lot of different kind of martial arts background uh, training with the Tai Chi, um, Wing Chun, mostly those, a little bit of Mantis, Northern Praying Mantis, and a little bit of Jiu Jitsu. Uh, that's, that's mainly what I do. Okay, so let's uh, close off. And just focus on breathing on your belly. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, send me a direct message. Use the Chi and Prosper. Make sure you check out the website. This website here.